here I am on Twitter, minding my business, scrolling through, liking some stuff. Then all of a sudden, I get a DM. I go check it out, and it's my good buddy, Drew Lips. Go check his channel out if you have not. He's a really good creator. So I go, and he's like, hey, did you win the OnePlus Nord Beta US giveaway? And me, I'm like, I don't think so. I forgot all about that. So then Drew proceeds to go ahead and give me a list of the winners. Lo and behold, that's me. Let's do this! Here's the thing, I never win anything. So honestly, I went ahead, did what they required for you to do. I think it's just like, um, fill out your name and all that stuff and maybe add some videos that you've done so they can kind of judge from there. But honestly, I totally forgot all about it. Then a day or so later, my homegirl Kia, she hit me up. You know you got picked for the Nord, right? And I'm like, yeah, Drew told me, but you know, she was just giving me congratulations and all that. And so now we're here.
I've got the Nord in-house. I get to try it out. I get to put it through its paces, see what it can do, what it can't do, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I guess everything in between, right? So as you've seen from the unboxing, I think off the bat, just looking at it, I love the color. This is such a nice color. It looks really good on the back. You know, you got the OnePlus, you got the OnePlus branding, top and bottom. It looks pretty good. Here's what I think about it though. After having it for a little bit, it's like freaky fast. Like Jimmy John's is like freaky fast. This doesn't have the latest Snapdragon in it, but it doesn't matter because the way optimization is done on the phone, it's quick. You're gonna be satisfied with the quickness of this. Again, one of the quickest fingerprint sensors I've seen, as you see. I'll do it again. Let's see if I can do it this way. Put my hand here, boom. So this would be my third OnePlus device. Started with the OnePlus 6T. Then from there, I went to the OnePlus 7 Pro. Really, really loved that phone. Had the Nebula Blue, but we're speaking about the Nord. I think it's a really good phone. Uh, you got plenty of cameras and everything on this. They give you so many camera options and everything and the shutter speeds real quick. That's me. Hey, check me out. But look, look how quick that is. There I am. The selfie camera is pretty legit. They still give you a lot of modes. So within the selfie camera, I can do time lapse and I have the option to make it wide if I want to. Let's see, portrait is allowed in selfie mode. That is it. Now for the back cameras that you see here, they give you more options of course so you do have time lapse you have panorama you have slow motion of course video and photo so you do have nightscape and then they give you pro and this is where a lot of people like it so they can adjust the iso the white balance and all of that i mean i just like i've always i've always said this like nothing compares to how fast and smooth the OnePlus devices just scroll through list and pages and everything. I mean, it, it is really quick. Battery and charging is really good on this device. I can go maybe a day without charging this. Charging it back up to 100% battery is, it is fast actually. And I am using the charging brick and charging cable from the OnePlus 7 Pro, which I believe it's the same cable. It's the same charging equipment that came with this device. It's just I already had it out, so I just used that one. So charging is super fast. There is no wireless charging on this device, which I would have liked to see. Also, while we're speaking of things that this device doesn't have, unfortunately, it only has a single speaker on the bottom. So uh, the sound is okay. It can get loud, but to me, it's not the best. I would have liked to see maybe a speaker in the earpiece or something like that to be able to get that full sound that I like. to believe it and that remains true still because of just taking you know your normal picture and how much you know Google worked on the software just to make it be what it is and what it's known for. using Mint Mobile as my cell phone service provider. I'm able to use the network just fine. As you see here, you see the 5G is on. I'm not sure 
what level of 5G that is, but you see it here, folks. It does say 5G. Phone calls are clear, phone calls come through. People can hear me just fine, as they say, and I can hear them. Speakerphone is really good. This is at the max brightness indoors, so this is what you get in direct sunlight. So all in all, I think the Nord is a very good option if you're looking for something not so high up there in price. It gives you the OnePlus experience that you've come to love. So for me, it's like you have a device, let's say like the Pixel. What's the first thing you think of? To me, it's always gonna be photo. When I think OnePlus, what's the first thing you think? I think speed, it's like the need for speed. You think Samsung, to me, it's like Note, and if not the Note, then I think of uh, features. It's so packed with features. This is not gonna let you down if you think like me, when you think OnePlus, you think speed, because this still gives you the speed. It gives you the kind of Android experience that you want with not a lot of stuff on it. And here, again, here is about the phone. It is on Android 10. It is also on Oxygen 10.5.4, and so far, so good uh, I can say that I would recommend this device so that about wraps it up for my first impressions and use of the OnePlus Nord device I want to thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey and until next time everyone I want you all to have a spectacular day later